in some area of your life from the last seven months i would say you have been fighting a battle and the battle is either won or you have lost it but the battle is now over yes i am talking of jupiter's out position from gandanta jupiter was in gandanta zone from quite a bit of time and still it is in gandanta and from 8th of may to 30th of october around nearby this year 2019 it will be hovering back and forth again in the zodiac sign of scorpio retrograde and then again it will start going direct i'll make the video on jupiter's direct transit later but this is a very important transit because the gandanta zone will again start after october 30th and around for some time jupiter is retrograde so now what happens is jupiter was in gandanta so when a planet goes into gandanta what happens deep long lasting karmic issues they finally come to a culmination it's like the end of something it's very simple to understand gandanta people confuse gandanta very much they think that oh they they are going to die or there will be accidents or there will be death no nothing of that sort gandanta simply means that something has ended so now things could end in a good way or in a bad way also it's not necessary that things end in a bad way suppose for example a person says my education is over i finished my bachelor's i finished my masters now i am going to do a job so then that completion is not bad it's good it's great it's glorious so gandanta does not mean it's a bad transit so that has to be understood very clearly from day one because there's a lot of fear mongering in the name of gandanta so now just check which houses jupiter rules in your chart so for the newcomers beginners jupiter rules number 9 and 12 sagittarius and pisces wherever this is falling from your ascendant again i repeat again and again people ask this question you have to check the transits from the ascendant or from the moon well when it comes to physical manifestation you must check it from the ascendant so wherever 9 and 12 is falling you will see that jupiter was in jeshtha nakshatra before and then for some time it entered mula nakshatra and by the way for technicalities gandanta is 29 degrees of scorpio to 1 degree of sagittarius yes and is the same it cancer leo pisces and aries so what happened was when jupiter was in jeshtha nakshatra from november december january february and march end so when a planet transits jeshtha what happens is you try to prove everybody or at least to yourself that you are an achiever in that domain and if this associates with the ascendant or the 10th house or the 11th house or the 5th house also sometimes then i have seen in my limited experience that people also try to prove that they are not only achievers but they are the best once there there was a movie you know where there was a song when i was very young i am the best <laughs> so that's what happens when a planet exactly transits jeshtha now so now the thing is uh, fast moving planets will be transiting in jeshtha but you will not notice it literally because planets like you know moon sun mercury venus and mars they move quite fast but slow moving planets like jupiter saturn rahu ketu they will give their effects so you can check in your life from october last year and specifically from december you would have very aggressively geared towards the houses which are ruled by jupiter depending on your ascendant again as i repeat and things came to a culmination in the month of april april is the month when all all the endings happened 
and may is the month after 8th of may you will see that things will now con materialize into something concrete but you have to always remember that this is a retrograde motion jupiter is retrograde so that is why i have given the name game over in the thumbnail because when a planet stations when it's going direct and it becomes stationary we feel that the game is over and because this is in a gandanta zone that is why we feel that okay something has ended and yes now the game is over we have ended the battle but is it so no it's not so well yes your battle which was which you were fighting from last 6 months that is over but there's a new battle which is starting so the game is not over yet <laughs> or you could say the game is over but there's a new game there's a replay mode so now is the time <coughs> when a planet is out of gandanta see gandanta is a instable it's a very uh, unstable energy which you sometimes feel that what should i make out of it during gandanta there's confusion for the direction of which side to go which side not to go but now as jupiter by 8th it goes back from 29 degrees to 28 27 degrees of scorpio you will see that now the knots are not knots anymore they are cleared you are your direction is very clear where to go what to do how to do but the only difference is now you you have to come to the battlefield and do it earlier when it was in jeshta what was happening is in direct motion you were preparing to come to the battlefield and you were still fighting but imagine now you're fighting and you stand still and there is a new big bunch of armies new new enemies <laughs> because if you want to know what this transit looks like you can just check uh, what jeshta nakshatra is jeshta nakshatra has significations with indra so the issue with indra is is very competitive although he is a great soul uh, at the same time he is very materialistic of course he is the king of the heavens and therefore he has a tendency uh, the demons the asuras the daityas the danavas they have a tendency to take his throne because they also want to enjoy and then later on indra has to fight and you know lord vishnu has to take incarnations and then lord vishnu has to put indra back to the throne most of the times it happens like this so this means that when a planet transits jeshta nakshatra you will see significations related to that that planet are always under threat which means suppose let's let me talk with some example suppose jupiter is your seventh lord then it could happen that you finalized your marriage with somebody but then there are some people who are opposing to it maybe some relatives or some friends or maybe somebody is eyeing on your spouse that could also happen some member of the opposite sex could be or maybe the person can cheat or anything of that sort can happen of course now what happens and what doesn't that will depend on the dasha which dasha you are running if the dasha is indicating marital issues only then it happens okay otherwise it doesn't you know, make sense or it can happen that you and your spouse are competing with each other okay you know you are trying to prove each other you know who how you are superior to whom so these activities are very detrimental for relationships so trying to prove each other it doesn't work like that so this can happen for any house depending on your ascendant all right so if you would ask me what should be our disposition till 30th of october well i would say after 30th october this year jupiter will again enter the gandanta zone so just take a note of the activities which you did in the month of april end of march to beginning of may these 6 weeks keep a note of these activities it can happen 
and I'm not, I'm not giving a prediction here about anybody it will depend on all 7 billion people of course but it can happen or at least you will get the flavors of these six weeks end of March to beginning of May after 30th October also again till mid of December almost why oh, no, not mid of December I would say uh, end of November one month the entire month of November will again have these traits because then Jupiter will re-enter the Gandanta zone so that means it's like saying it entered Gandanta now and it told you that look the battle is over the new battle begins but then what will happen is after November November begins after October 30th you could see that I thought that the battle was over but it's still not yet over so long story cut short if you would ask me what to do I would say personally play on the safe side play on the safe side means do not commit to something which you cannot if you know deep down inside that is not for me don't stay there otherwise you may be thrown out from there if you know something some somebody has given you some responsibility jeshta is about responsibility because jeshta means elder and generally in the vedic culture the eldest takes the most responsibility so it can happen if jupiter is ruling your artha houses two six ten second house sixth house tenth house if the sign nine or twelve is falling either of these houses it can happen depending on your dasha that you get some promotion which you are very happy with and you think that oh yes 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 that's possible I can do it but then it could happen that by the end of October 30th you could feel that no no you are the wrong place you are choosing the wrong battle and then after October 30th it could happen that you change your job or you get into a different domain or it could happen regarding anything your marriage or children so till October 30th regarding the houses with Jupiter rules please take only calculated risks do not take things which you have not dealt before I mean of course life will never give you challenges which you have always dealt that will never happen in life but it should not happen that you are entering totally a new territory which you have never entered and you have taken loads of responsibility there then it might happen that you leave that responsibility and then you start doing what you were doing before and this does not mean that you know they will fire you from your job or something like that it's not about the externals it is about you being where you should be so let us introspect what happened during this month of april end of march to beginning of may these six weeks and let's take a reality check and after november if we still uh, still feel that we need to step down on certain areas well, then it's perfectly fine there's no problem in doing that all right so but this is <coughs> what i would say in one word take only calculated risks do not do not take projects which you have never seen <laughs> all right suppose jupiter is your fourth lord then maybe you purchase a very big home with lot of loan and then you are like oh my god how can i give the emi it's not possible then it could happen that you sell your home after november and you get a small flat these are just some examples which i am giving because jeshta is all about responsibility remember i'm hitting again and again and again in the same word responsibility and now you will see because the karmic alignment is like that you will see that many people will call you and give you a lot of responsibilities it will happen <coughs> people will tell you that oh yeah, yeah yeah you are good at it you can do it come on let's do it and that's perfectly fine you can try but do not commit to anything do not sign any sign any document that i will do this for the next six months and if i don't you know you can hang me or something like this don't don't sign any document like that 
do not give any word to anybody regarding areas which you have never dealt before so that's the beauty of knowing astrology you know how the energies are going to function and you can deal accordingly now of course this does not mean that you can uh, escape your karma if there are some issues which you will face depending on your dasha then that will happen of course and let's accept that as a part of our karma but as a part of our free will let us know how to use it where and how much and how much not to okay and always remember indra had disrespected his teacher brihaspati so do not disrespect your elders or people in authority positions or people who have helped you climb the ladder of success always give them their due respect deal with them very diligently and respect them or or at least don't disrespect them and whichever houses jupiter is going is ruling in your chart you will see now there will be a boss who will dictate terms to you there so suppose jupiter is your fourth lord so it could happen that your mother is dictating something to you seventh lord then it could happen that your spouse is dictating something to you and it could also happen that till the time jupiter is in gandanta till 30th october you have to listen to them all right so don't don't go crazy if if, if you feel that oh my god <laughs> for 6 months i have to listen to this person oh my god i hate this person <laughs> don't go crazy on that it's just for 6 months you don't have to listen to that person for the whole life or it can happen that you have to make somebody listen to you that could also happen so that the dasha will tell if the 5th house is coming or the 10th house is coming all right or the 6th house or the 11th house or the lagna if the lagna is linked it could be you if it's the 5th house it could be some subordinate or it could also happen that some subordinate is trying to boss over you the subordinate is telling you oh sir you need to do like this that could also happen all right or if jupiter is your 9th lord it can happen that the guru is instructing you all right so that is what i wanted to say it's a very important transit and i've made the video on mars transit uh, into gemini with rahu if you have not watched it, then please watch it and tomorrow i will be uploading videos uh, on bharani nakshatra because venus is in bharani now i'm uh, sorry not not now it is going to enter bharani but the new moon which is on 4th 4th of may is in bharani nakshatra all right so it's very important to understand this energy because now jupiter is going out of gandanta saturn is retrograde and mars rahu are also going to be conjunct so the house where new moon falls the sign the nakshatra is very important so i'll be uploading the videos back to back hopefully or at least tomorrow i'll upload the first part on sunday and then the rest maybe by the next week or, or in the weekdays or maybe in the weekends okay and i also did a recording with sam jp sir on karma and astrology i will upload that also and i have also done recordings with sanati ji on saturn and rahu's remedies those videos also i will upload and i have also done a video with vanita lanka ji on appearance of ascendance i will upload all these videos gradually all right so have a great weekend wish you all the best and make use of this transit in the best way possible okay until next time if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and yes if you want a consultation from me you could go down to the description section where you will find my website okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye